Good afternoon to you all. My focus will be the Ervi, a new varietal which came out as a uh, genetic selection project that uh, saw the day in the 1970s at the University of Piacenza. Uh, the under the um, direction of Professor Mario Fregoni, who was in charge of the Institute. So essentially, thinking of the local viticulture, Professor Fregoni had seen in the possible uh, cross between Barbera and Croatina, a possible solution for the improvement uh, of the local varietals. Also, in view of improving the characteristics of the typical wine of the area, the Gutturnio, in the 1970s, uh, the uh, crosses uh, took place, uh, leading to the selection of uh, several uh, seedlings, uh, 50 of which in, the n in 1980 were grafted in the field uh, for comparison purposes. Uh, comparison with uh, uh, reproduced uh, and grafted adult plants. In 1999, that led uh, to the registration of a new varietal, the Ervi, that uh, was included in the National Registry of uh, Grape Varieties, um, which was then authorized in 2003 in Emilia-Romagna. It is also a varietal that might be relevant uh, for uh, neighboring zones uh, that share uh, the same uh, parent uh, varietals uh, uh, with the consequent uh, issues. Ervi was then planted by some uh, interested uh, um, viticulturists uh, who worked uh, in the framework uh, of the university's projects and so uh, nurseries were created uh, with uh, cuttings and then agreements were made with the nurserymen. So from 2004 commercial uh, reproduction started and now we produce several hundred uh, uh, cuttings per year. Over, the over, the over time, sorry, the genetic identity was uh, tested and it was confirmed that, that this varietal, the Ervi, this is a distinctive presentation of ripe uh, bunches and leaves, uh, is a cross of Barbera, uh, Barbera and Croatina. So you see uh, the representative uh, um, appearance of bunches and leaves. From a phenological standpoint, uh, Ervi it tends to be pretty similar to Barbera in terms uh, of early budding or bud break, but um, it is a lot uh, 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 faster in reaching maturity, uh, which happens uh, um, one week or 10 days before Barbera which makes it also more interesting uh, for developing uh, viticulture in cooler area, cooler area than where Barbera is planted. Ervi is interesting in terms of uh, uh, pro uh, leaf to fruit ratio because, the, and also from a vegetative standpoint, uh, uh, the um, uh, buds and shoots uh, um, just uh, develop upwards uh, with uh, a pattern which is pretty interesting for viticulturists, for growers. Uh, and also it is well adapted to mechanical harvesting with a good response uh, um, in terms uh, of uh, berry detachment and loss of juice, uh, juice uh, during mechanical harvesting, as you can tell based on the picture on the desk, because the um, the uh, loss of berries is uh, reduced compared particularly to Croatina. So it attracts the attention of growers and for this reason in recent years, especially to 2016 when the first uh, rural development uh, uh, programs uh, were uh, launched, many local growers uh, asked to know more about uh, this uh, varietal, especially to face uh, um, the need uh, to improve the quality of Guturnio and also to compensate uh, for uh, certain uh, characteristics such as low fertility of basal buds and the low attitude to mechanization of Croatina, which creates uh, difficulties in dealing with uh, uh, plants, especially um, long cane pruning, etc. Now, Ervi was studied uh, 
for vineyard mechanization and the analogical uh, prospects in terms of uh, uh, what uh, potentially it had to improve um, Guturnio or to uh, be used for different, to make different wines. To answer these questions, uh, uh, we uh, created a test parcel where the three varietals were tested uh, for um, three years and the, um, the pruning techniques were um, in certain cases long, in others short, and here are the five samples uh, uh, compared. Uh, Croatina, uh, simple Guyo, it was used as a control. But then uh, alternative solutions were found, uh, a simple Guyo and a double Guyo Irvi, just like Spur called an Irvi, or Barbera with uh, uh, simple Guyo um, or single Guyo and Spur pruning. Twelve uh, buds uh, per, um, per uh, stock. Then all the uh, characterizations uh, were uh, made. Uh, you can see in the spring the typical pattern, growing, growing pattern of Croatina, uh, pruned according to the Guyo method, and then Ervi, spur pruned, and single Guyo, respectively. Here are some of the results. Uh, the uh, fruit-to-leaf uh, ratio and balance uh, of the varietals in combination with their training forms uh, or methods uh, was different. Croatina plus Guyot had uh, the lowest uh, total leaf uh, surface, uh, but um, on the other hand, it had uh, the best balance between leaf uh, uh, area and uh, production. And uh, that causes a lower productivity uh, per uh, plant, per vine. Hervé Guyot had uh, the same behavior in terms of leaf, uh, leaf surface. And then uh, double Guyot and spur pruning uh, increased uh, the uh, total leaf area, showing that these uh, two uh, pruning systems uh, can stimulate uh, the vigor in the buds. No differences were found uh, between the two methods of training uh, uh, with Barbera. In terms uh, of the leaf to fruit ratio, there was a linearity, a linear increase uh, um, of this index going from simple gu single guyo to spur pruned uh, um, ervi, and the same uh, with Barbera. Production. Croatina um, once again proved to be the least productive varietal with few bunches, middle si medium sized, characterized by small berries. Now, not all of this is negative, of course. Ervi, however, um, has a higher productivity compared to Croatina. Um, especially when you compare the single Guyo, the productivity is almost 100% higher, while with uh, spur uh, pruning, it tends to produce 50% more. The reasons are well known, and they lie in the fact that uh, single Guyo tends to uh, contribute to maintaining slightly larger bunches, while the spur pruned uh, uh, vines, because it originates from basal buds, uh, has an impact uh, on the final size uh, of the bunch, which is uh, slight, um, generally smaller than for the other samples. All the berries uh, in Irvi have the uh, size uh, and uh, shape of Croatina, and so does the tightness of the bunch. Opposite to that, Barbera shows that it is a more productive uh, if you uh, Consider the same four uh, methods of training, it is even more productive, the, productive than Irvi because of the larger bunches and larger berries, and hence the tightness of the bunch, which exposes it uh, to the normal issues uh, affecting the health of the grapes uh, during ripening. It is interesting to see this uh, trend uh, in the growth uh, of the berries uh, between veraison and maturity in two very different uh, vintages, uh, uh, dry and uh, uh, hot 2017 and uh, 2018, which was slightly rainier, at least uh, until the beginning of Verizon. In the rainier vintage, uh, 
when water was more available in the soil, Barbera responded to that by increasing the berry size, while Hervé, just like a Croatina, have kept, had kept um, more or less uh, uh, their berries the same size. Um, this was uh, this result uh, uh, was also confirmed. I mean, the result uh, about the shelf life at harvest. Um, Ervi tends to be more forgiving when it comes to uh, botrytis attacks uh, versus Barbera. Now, dealing with fertility, this is essential when you uh, judge uh, the suitability of uh, um, vi a varietal to mechanization, especially when you uh, prune, uh, give short pruning. Ervi and Barbera uh, uh, seem to be uh, productive when they have long... Uh, um, Cane's Croatina seems to have a lower productivity per vine, and Ervi, uh, spur pruned, uh, has a significantly lower uh, productivity, but intermediate between Croatina and the other uh, long pruning uh, systems or methods. In terms of basal fertility, which is key, we see essentially that Croatina has uh, none of the characteristics uh, to be managed uh, with short pruning, while Ervi has the same behavior as Barbera or comparable. So these two are uh, work well with short pruning. You see that the low basal activity of Croatina can pose a problem, a big one. Well, you see the difference uh, with Ervi, uh, with a more even um, pattern in uh, bunch positions. Now, coming to uh, the composition of the grapes, uh, Caratina, because also of the lower yields, um, has a high uh, sugar concentration, a good accumulation of uh, in anthocyanins. Uh, what uh, seems to be its problem is uh, the titratable acidity and especially the malic, uh, the malic proportion, which is uh, generally lower. Avi is an improvement, an enhancement of Croatina because uh, the sugar accumulation seems to be good, but overall it can accumulate more anthocyanins and keep a uh, slightly higher acidity, especially in the malic area. Barbera essentially has uh, a good uh, technological maturity. The ratio between uh, sugar and acidity is very interesting, especially in this uh, new context of climate change, uh, where Barbera proves to be pretty resilient vis-a-vis -vis global warming. But certainly you can see how the content in terms of color of Ervi compared to Barbera is clearly higher. These differences were then confirmed uh, uh, during uh, ripening. In detail, I can show this chart uh, that represents uh, the accumulation in anthocyanins uh, in uh, Barbera, Croatina, and Ervi. Just to give you some uh, uh, details, uh, we were talking about anthocyanins. Uh, the breakdown of anthocyanins in Ervi is uh, dominated by malvidin. So the profile is absolutely comparable to that of Croatina and not so different uh, from uh, that of Barbera. When we introduced the discussion about variety, we said uh, that uh, it tends to be pretty early compared to both Barbera and Croatina. So f we... Um, have uh, tested uh, uh, this vineyard in areas uh, of the Colli Piacentini, which are not uh, specifically planted with vines. We're talking about the innermost uh, mountainous areas of the Valtrebia, Tidone, and Ar uh, um, specifically, where you can have um, thermal sums that are lower, different uh, climatic conditions uh, leading to maturity, and uh, characteristics that uh, the lower terraces uh, that uh, face, that overlook the plain, uh, um, you no longer find uh, because of climate change. So compared uh, uh, 
with uh, uh, the traditional test parcels of Valtidon and Valdarda, we have adopted a new one in the Valtrebbia, where we observed uh, that Ervi reaches uh, full maturity, although 10 years later than elsewhere, when uh, maturity is uh, evaluated in terms uh, of accumulation of sugars, organic acid development, and color curve. It is true that uh, the total anthocyanin content in grapes is significantly lower compared to the two uh, um, other vineyards at lower elevations, but this is closer to vineyards uh, uh, that uh, uh, have the most interesting results uh, proportionally. Here's a reference to the sensory profile of these wines that were not tested uh, uh, within uh, the framework of our projects, but in the framework uh, of parallel activities, uh, where we saw that essentially Ervi has uh, a sensory profile which is very similar to that of Croatina, uh, but it differentiates uh, from it for two aspects. First of all, the lower level of astringency in the wine, and secondly, while the profile is generally fruity, there is also a much more detectable uh, spiciness to it and a spice. Now, we all agree that Ervi should be identified as a local and indigenous varietal because it was developed, uh, designed and developed here in the area of Cacenza to face the local problems. And uh, we think it can be successful. It needs to be valorized first and foremost, uh, perhaps as a niche product initially, but over time it might be more implemented. Compared to Croatina, its a leaf to fruit ratio uh, is interesting uh, in view of modern viticulture, which also considers mechanization as an option, while in comparison to Barbera, it is an, an improvement in terms of the bunch morphology, berry morphology, must acidity, which tends to be more moderate, better anthocyanin content in grapes, and better tolerance to botrytis. The winemaking characteristics uh, of Ervi are just unique. Uh, similar, they're similar to uh, those of Barbera and Cratina, but they are distinctive in certain respects, as indicated before. Now we have uh, technical, the technical basis to, um, to propose this innovation to the growers. Uh, uh, and now it is for the universities and uh, public institutions uh, to promote it in order for it uh, to um, become used uh, um, in a widespread fashion throughout this area. Thank you very much for listening. Thank you.